Hi everyone, since we weren't able to meet for uh, Ladies Fellowship to make these crosses here, I'm going to kind of give you guys an online tutorial of how to do this. It's really simple. So here's the cross. So all you really need are 15 clothespins and some tacky glue or a glue gun would work too, whichever you have. You can try Almer's glue, but I'm not sure how fast that dries to make it work. So it's a simple process here, really. All you're going to do is you're going to take your clothespins and you're going to take the metal pieces off of them and glue them back together. You just grab some glue. It will come out. Some glue and then put it back together. Like this. So you're going to do this with all 15 of your clothespins. Okay, I'm finishing up my last couple clothespins here. It's a really simple process, it doesn't take much time at all. Glue it together. So I have all 15 of my closed pins. The metal pieces are out and I have glued them all together. And then you want to give that a couple minutes to dry if you're using tacky glue. If you're using a hot glue gun, you should be ready to go. So the next step of this is you're going to take your closed pins in sets of three. And what you're going to do is now you're going to glue these three together using the bottom half, you see this, the bottom half of your clothespin. So you're going to put glue just on the bottom half. Then you're going to take your next clothespin and you're going to glue that one right onto that. Just like that. And you're going to take another clothespin and put some glue on just the bottom half of that. And then you're going to add that to the other side. So it's going to look like this. So you're going to do that four more times. So you have a total of five of these made. So one more time I'm going to show you. You're going to take just the bottom half of this, add your glue, place that on there, and you're going to take the bottom half of another one, add your glue, and place that one on the opposite side. So go ahead and do that until you have five of these made. Okay, so now I have all five of my pieces made. So the next part is to assemble our cross. So to do that, we're gonna take one of our pieces and we're gonna put glue on the insides of it. Right here and right there. Once you have glue in there, you're gonna take another piece and you're gonna slide carefully those two pieces together like this. So they're gonna connect. So what I did was I took two of my pieces, the piece that's sticking out into the gap, and I kind of just slid them together like that and glued them. 
and you'll get a piece like this. You kind of want to take your time and let the pieces dry a couple minutes or they're going to fall apart on you unless you're using the hot glue again then you don't have to. So for my next step I'm going to take the piece that I just made here these two spots right here and I'm going to add glue to the tips of those. We're going to have glue on each of those tips. And then you're going to take another one of these and you're going to use the uh, edge right here and just set it right on that one. Take another one, this edge, set that one right there. Try not to move it too much at this point because it needs to dry. You're going to take your last piece you're going to add glue on those edges. And you want to make sure you're working on a surface that um, is not going to dry too, and you can be able to pick it up when you're done. So once you have your glue on the edges of this one, you're just going to take it and you're going to bring it to the top here like this. And make sure you line it up. It's still very movable, so. Just line it up like that, and you kind of want to let it dry. And it's simple as that. Oops. So, there you have it a wooden clothespin cross, easy to make. Um, I usually take them after this, after it dries, and burn it. We have a lighter or I use just my, to my uh, stove top. Be careful though because they catch fire very fast and we don't want a fire breaking out. So here's the finished product or if you just like it like this, you can keep it like that or paint it, whatever you want to do with it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to share a picture of yours, go ahead and do that. Thank you.